My name is Marcus Rosendahl. I'm from Sweden. Uh, I'm from a region three hours northwest of Stockholm, but I, the last eight years I was living in Stockholm and one and a half year ago I moved to London, where I'm now residing in the east end of London, uh, running some nightclubs uh, involved in the 1940s and 1950s music, also 20s, 30s and even up to the 60s. Uh, running my own dance classes and uh, DJing a lot. My passion uh, for this kind of culture, music, dance, started when I was very young. I was about, I don't know, around seven, eight years old. And my friend started with dancing and he was very good. He got really good, really well, uh, very quick. And he said, hey, why don't you come with me and try out this dance thing? I said, yeah, let's see. Okay, maybe I'll come and try it out. I went once and I got a little bit hooked. Uh, I was able to hang out with older people. I felt, oh, this is cool. It was a lot of girls and guys around. It was, in my eyes, cool people. And I carried on and um, I said, I will never compete in dancing, never. I just want to do it for fun. And one year later, I competed and I uh, became a Swedish champion. So I started to travel. I became uh, a part of the Swedish troupe that traveled around the world, and especially around Europe, Italy, Rimini, uh, uh, Poland, Germany, Austria, all over Europe. And for uh, maybe 10 years, I was traveling all around the world competing. Uh, so I started when I was about 11. So this music has followed me, and the dancing has followed me since I was a baby. Uh, and now I'm having a hard time seeing my life without this kind of music, culture, fashion, and lifestyle. It's all about it. And what is your fashion? Uh, when it comes to dancing, you mean? I would say... Oh, ciao, Lucy! <laughs> ciao, Marcus! Nice to meet you here. And you! <laughs> it's nice to be down in Senegalia, isn't it? <laughs> Fantastic, always. This lovely lady has asked me what's my speciality in dancing, and... You have more than one. Well, I do have, I do like a lot of different styles within the swing. I like tap dancing, I like authentic jazz, I like a little bit of the boogie woogie still. I still like some shag and I love the lindy hop, the which lindy we hop. were teaching before. Which we were teaching together. It's quite nice. <laughs> it was a good time. It was fantastic. Yes. Bravo. But Lucy, tell me more about you. Who are you? I discovered dancing in London around 12 years ago and from the first time, <laughs> from the very first time I was hooked. It was incredible. It opened really? up the whole world. Yes. And how was the scene in England when you started? Fantastic. Diverse. Um, it's grown a lot over the past 10 years. Um, but even back then it was lovely. Welcoming, friendly. Um, so much fun. Yeah, I, I think that is one thing that really you can summarize the dance community in that way worldwide. It's very inclusive, very inviting. You very, it's very rare that you feel like, oh, I don't belong here. It's, it's quite, quite nice. It's a nice atmosphere. That's what's amazing. You can go to any part of the world, like here in Italy, and find so many people to dance with, new friends every time. Yeah. It's amazing. And since I got the question, which was my speciality in the dancing, or what I liked the most, which one is yours? Ooh. I like this. I like that I can that I can interview you. Um, well, obviously, I love teaching Lindy Hop with you, Marcus. Um, but I like all kinds of dancing within this kind of music. So, Lindy, swing, jive, balboa, everything. Tutti. Tutti, tutti. It's the music that is the heart of everything. True story, true story. <laughs> yeah. I'm going uptown where the girls are nice and sweet. Meet me in 
uptown. Man, the scene ain't got to read. You know that uptown. Hey, what about? It's it. It's passionate. It's expressive. It's it's lovely. I would say. The students were fantastic this week. Fantastic. Um, they made the class. <laughs> School, sir. Huh? Um, they made the class really enjoyable. It's been a long week, but um, they gave us energy, and uh, we all had a good time. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. I I travel around the world to teach. I would say, obviously, there's different cultures around the world. The English are very, uh, they're a, a little bit less ex shouting and expressive, a little bit more drawn back. <laughs> um, so it might be a bit more quiet in a class in England than it is in Italy. Uh, or would you agree? No, I'd agree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. However, what I think is very unique for the summer Jamboree is that people come with an open mind. They come to to see and look, um, they just want to have a good time, learn something new, pick up something, and then use it perhaps the same night or the night after. So it's a very ongoing attitude, very nice and uh, moving attitude in a good, in a very positive way in Senegalia. Meet me in uptown. Get there fast, don't take it slow. I have an idea, if you don't mind. It's I, I have an idea. I think that basically the swing that was very popular in the late 20s, throughout the 30s and the 40s, and obviously in the 50s it was dance but to rock and roll music and uh, late rhythm and blues. Um, I think when it died out for the twist and other dances that came up in the 60s, um, Maybe we had to separate for the, what was going on in the society and it was a new fashion, a new trend. But now we're discovering we're very much maybe alone in front of a computer or the life is getting a bit more solo in general. So to come together for a dancing, for, uh, for, uh, for, in uh, for instance, uh, is a very good way to meet people. It doesn't need to be intimate. It can just be, ciao, who are you, how do you do, would you like to dance, yes, perfect. You have a great song or two songs, finished, you feel happy, you have met someone, you've been interacting with someone, you walk away as a happier person. And I think we need this in our time, that's why it's coming back and becoming so popular, I think. I agree, I agree. And I actually think it's, uh, it's nicer to dance together rather than alone. Yes. Uh, as an English person, <laughs> I don't have to be self-conscious about dancing alone by doing the solo. Um, I can share an experience with somebody else. And to make um, that moment with somebody and share the music and smile and enjoyment is the most fantastic thing. The most fantastic thing. Where I go. Mr. Rockin' and Rollin', yeah, where I go. Just a rockin' and a rollin', yeah, where I go. We just a rockin' and a rollin', make me feel like a rockin' some too. My baby was a rockin'. If you are a bit shy and a little bit, uh, it might be a, a, a good community, absolutely. But also for strong personalities that have a, a feeling of expressing. I think it, this is for everyone. I think if you have something you would like to express, either if you're shy or confident, this is a great way to look upon it as a cultural slash art form where you are able to express whatever you like. Just like growing, I think. Sure cure for the blues. Ah.
Uh, you mean that if it happened, if it's something that we've been experiencing? Yeah, I think I've seen some flirting going on. <laughs> Even some during this week, I would say. But that's all part of the fun. Yeah. That's all part of the fun. Hey, we're all grown-ups. <laughs> it's, you know, you're responsible. No, certo, certamente no. No, but I would say we're all grown-ups. If you're having a good time, you're having a good time, you know. Sorry? Oh, yes. Yes. You know you've done your turn. Exactly. You actually get to interact with human beings, look into their eyes, touch people. Woo! Well, that's a party in my ears. Yeah.